<laughs> or tell them about it. <laughs> she didn't want to go out to eat, so we got a loaf of bread and some spread on it and went back to the... Some lunch meat. Lunch and meat. And some cakes and a banana. I made a little lunch. Well, good. For dinner that night? That was our, we'll our some money. honeymoon dinner. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we didn't have was a knife <laughs> to spread the butter or the we, anything we on the bread. We cardboard. So we took a little piece of cardboard off from the donut <laughs> package or the roll package. I don't remember which it was and used that to spread the... <laughs> mm -hmm. Creativity. <laughs> yep. Of course, we skipped one item leading up to our engagement. What was that? Was it important? Well, I guess it was. She was wearing another ring. <gasps> oh, oh dear. Okay. Go ahead. Well, she was wearing another guy's ring when I took her out the first time. I think she'd return it by the next time. So she was engaged to this guy? I assume. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't quite make up her mind, huh? Well, let's ask you. My great grandmother lady, or great grandmother, who was a real old lady, used to say, "Well, I had three. I having a hard time kind of making my mind up." And he, she says, "Well, let me tell you, whichever one you choose, why later you'll wish you chose the other one." <laughs> so she's been wishing for 59 years. <laughs> find that to be true. Well, she didn't find that to be true, so you lucked out. Well, Grandma, let me ask you this: What quality, do you, or quality or qualities, do you think that you have that have contributed to your successful marriage? 